going on YouTube? Got a quick video here. I only have three cards to show. But in my last video, I mentioned that the sixth round of the NFL draft was just getting ready to start, and I was waiting for Marvin McNutt out of Iowa to get drafted. And about 20 minutes after I uploaded, the, uh, as I was uploading the video, he was selected. And he was selected by an NFC team. Unfortunately, it was not the Packers. It was the Philadelphia Eagles, which, I mean, it's not a bad team to go to. I don't like them, but what can you do? At least it's not a NFC North team. But uh got two more cards of his that came in. I have some more on the way, but this one's from 2012 Upper Deck. And this is the ultimate rookie uh, uh, issue. And it is numbered, let's see if I can get that to show up, maybe not, but it's uh, 259 out of 450, really nice looking card. I have not seen an autograph version of this pop up yet, I'm waiting for that one, I'd really like to have it. And also from 2012 Upper Deck, this is the 1993 SP throwback uh, variation rookie card. The autograph. Um, I believe these are case hits. I'm not 100% positive, but there haven't been very many of these pop up on eBay or any of the forums I've been looking for. But really great card. This was the first one listed on eBay, and it was on eBay for less than four minutes, and they had a buy it now on it. And I just grabbed it because I thought it was a great price. And as I've seen others sell. Uh, I think there's only been a couple more of them that have sold, but I got this one at a steal compared to those prices, just because it's a new product, but I didn't care paying a nice little chunk of change for it, but really great looking card. These throwback SP cards just look really good. And that's all the Marvins that have come in so far. Um, also, in my last video, I mentioned that I had five packages, or redemptions, um, coming in from Panini. Four of them came through uh, United States Postal Service, and those were the ones I showed in the last video. And this last one came FedEx. And actually, they tried to deliver it yesterday, but I was at work when they tried to deliver it. And fortunately, I couldn't just have them hold it at a facility because there isn't a hold facility located within 40 miles of where I live. And so they wouldn't give me that option, so I actually had to take a day off work today, come home and wait for them to show up uh, in order to get it. Otherwise, I don't know how I would have gotten it. It would have been an issue because it would have been sent back to uh, Panini after it had been tried to deliver it three times. So I did. I just took a day off work, waited for it, and now I'm going to open it. Well packaged. And here it is. Ooh, nice. It sent a magnetic. This is from 2011 Elite Extra Edition. This is the Bubba Starling die cut autograph version and it is the gold awesome looking card man that is really nice numbered two out of five I was really hoping I'd get the one out of five one but apparently I was the second redemption uh, uh, redeemed but man awesome awesome card good job by Panini putting it in a one touch magnetic I'm pretty happy with that but, uh, yeah, that's the last of my Bubba Starling Redemptions to come in. and I don't have any more of his cards bought or coming in because really the only thing out there that I don't have set or cards from set-wise would be from Prime Cuts, and it's another redemption, so I'm not in any hurry to put in another redemption. So, won't be seeing any more uh, Bubba's coming in anytime soon. Um, I have a few more uh, Marvin McNett cards to show up, I think. I don't know, five or six more. Uh, they should be showing up by the end of the week. I just wanted to make a quick video uh, because that showed up. And 
pretty excited to have that. That's awesome, awesome card. But anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.